Ah, so if I knock him out, that's a non-lethal way of dealing with it. If I poison him, that's right, poisoning him is lethal, right? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I don't really care about this part being lethal or not because this guy tried to kill me. But, I do want to apply a brand onto him. So let's go for this one then. Knock him unconscious. Don't do anything about the poison. Oh. But if we can make sure the captain can survive the visit, that would be really good too. But we have to figure out how to get rid of the poison then. A low-ranking overseer has been blackmailed into putting the poison into the drinks they are to have after the meeting. After the meeting. We have to find the drink, and... If we try to use a sleep dart on the captain, I'm just thinking here, in the worst case scenario, if we can't prevent him from drinking the poison, but if we try to give him a sleep dart, would that be okay? Because then he can't drink it anymore, and I don't think the people will kill him outright. That might be an okay way to try to save him. There is a meeting chamber, but um... I wonder if we can find out more about the poison before we go in. There's nobody here anymore. Ew. This was a window that we could have climbed up through somewhere. Oh, and that's how we get into the meeting chamber then. That's one way. Oh. Mm, if I want to render that guy unconscious, then I don't even want to switch the poisoned... Yeah, I don't even want to switch the poison then. I want both of them to be alive. Let me just look around here. Maybe there is more clues. It said the younger overseer, the one that's being blackmailed, is gonna come in after the meeting. So I wonder if it's possible for us to find him right now. I want to, because I don't want to, like, you know, try to pull something off during the meeting. But I don't know if it's possible to. Let me go back downstairs and see if anybody wants to, like, give me a hint. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! He didn't say anything. Did all the bodies disappear? He didn't see the bodies, and he didn't yell for help. Not sure what was going on with him, but I think it's clear that this spot is not safe. That's no good. What do I do? I'm still gonna keep him here, I guess. Yeah, what? Why are people spawning back? Come on, man. Guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Hopefully no one's gonna come find this. I don't know where else to put him though, because everywhere is like this here. It's the same stuff. Hey, don't go in there yet. I want to check out the other side of the building. Okay, there's people here too. If I try to get this guy... And remember, we can go get the sleep darts from the interrogation room later on, because we just used one. Three people here. Oh! I thought those guys were in here, but they're not. Oh, I don't know where to put you, man. 
I don't have time to find a freaking trash can and try to like... Oh, could I like... Hey, 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 hey. No one's gonna find you here. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, maybe here? A little bit more surface area? There is a bone charm here. Oh, it's right there. How can it be that I know such things? Once they are brought here, they never leave. The overseers always find the guild they seek. Where have the overseers gone? They wade through chest high waters with their hounds. Somewhere near, a man has just taken yeah. his last breath. His eyes are still open. We've heard this. It's an interrogation area, all right. Now, those people over there, where were they? Because they're on this floor. Are they like somehow behind the meeting chamber? How do I get there? Let me have a look down here first. That guy's legs are dangling off the shelf. I wonder if that's okay. <laughs> Are you guys still doing your The Outsider is Bad orientation? They're not talking anymore. They're just sort of like silently staring at each other. Okay, well, let's not disturb them then. There's one rune here. Oh lord, of course there would be a rune beneath them too. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just try going into the meeting chamber then. Because, uh, yeah, I keep thinking that as soon as we get the Overseer, the mission ends. But that's not the case, right? If we do a clean job, we should still be able to look around, even after everything's done. Yeah, the very big caveat here being, if we do a clean job. Oh my god. I hope nobody sees the sword. <laughs> Oops. Nobody in here? I trust you. Oh, the rune. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children. Men will come. Stop playing and come out at once. What? Wait, what did I do? Did I mess this up? Resist temptation. Let this serve as a reminder of our cause, a token of the Outsider's power bound here before us. Let us not allow it to twist our hearts. Our gaze shall not wander toward it, nor will our hands reach out in restless greed to grasp it. Wait though, what the hell just happened? Everyone just left. What? I guess I did something to really upset them. <laughs> I have no clue. But they all ran out of the meeting room immediately. I don't think I even moved though, so why did they... Oh, where is he? Huh, how do I go down there? Oh, oh god! Okay, nobody cared. It said earlier that I spared... Yeah, I spared Captain Kerno, so I guess it's all okay. He never even like sat down or even tried drinking the freaking thing. I don't even know what happened, but things just sort of imploded as soon as I got in the meeting room. Ah, now we have the secret room here. We got him. He's unconscious. 
Oh, and there's a rune right here. This is the secret room that we were looking at previously, right? Where was that window, though? I wonder. Here. Turn it off. The ice- the isometry of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Ah, it's the painting that Sokolov was painting of him. And the cider is gone. <laughs> 300 coins. Mine now. My girls. Campbell. I'm not sure how my predecessor operated, but from now on, if one of my girls tries to blackmail you, you send her back to me at the Golden Cat, instead of concocting some plan on your own. I've had to replace three girls in as many months, and you can imagine the business of carnal pleasure isn't booming in this plague-stricken hole you call a city. Madame Prudence. Does this guy have, like, violent tendencies or something? Hmm. Huh. Curse those fools at Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hiram or the Lord Regent? as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all Hiram. the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to Ooh. inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. You would think? The High Overseer, of all people, would have a really nice den, but this is so garbage. It's literally some dirty mattresses, just on the ground, what the heck? Is that exciting? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm gonna break this. Imperial Decor Plate. No. Can't pick up the pistol. Litany on the White Cliff. Overseer Invocations, by High Overseer Aram Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd, for the foggy gray wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions, so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander, beyond the walls of our homes, in far places, we will strike at them swiftly, before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. Earlier, the um, audio thing? It mentioned that the current spymaster, the Lord Regent, it's Hiram, right? Back when we were in the hub, we read that one document where I thought Hiram was the previous spymaster. Because when we read it, it seemed like he was such a good spymaster and not like now, like overtaking the um, Empire and killing the Empress and all. So I wonder what happened between him writing that and now. Uh, did I get a rune just now or... I now have two runes. I can get Ben Tai maybe? Slow down the world around you for a limited time. At level 2, time is completely stopped. Okay. Cool. 6 out of 7 runes found. Uh, for bend time... I guess I'll put it on... Maybe 4? Yeah? Okay. I still anticipate that mostly, we'll just be using Dark Vision and Blink. But, um, okay. Well, now that we got this guy unconscious, we can take his body to the chair in the interrogation room. Okay, okay. Everything's going according to plan. Sort of. I didn't really anticipate that everyone would just suddenly freak the heck out as soon as I entered the meeting room. Oh, the kennels! There's a way that directly leads here. That's okay, we don't need it. Now, people... just don't look over here, alright? 
Thank you. Are they bugged? Because <laughs> I feel like they've just been standing there for so long. Was this a bug? Because honestly, that felt really unnatural. It's okay if they're alerted to me because I made some noise. But it felt like the moment I got in there, they were alerted, but they didn't even try to kill me. Everyone just started running away. So I'm not really too sure what that was about. Again, it's like Lady Luck is on my side. <laughs> Do we want to brand him right now? It is done. Target neutralized. And he's got a nice gigantic scar on his face. Which means now he's excommunicated and nobody will ever associate with him again. Well, I would say that's a job well done, right? We just leave him here and that's that. Well, is there anything left for us to do or do we just go see Samuel to leave? If we're leaving, then... Can I look around a little bit more first? Because I think there's still a few locations I haven't really gotten too good of a look at yet. For example... What is that? Oh no no, that's just the thing here. For example, the meeting room. I don't think there's too much in the square... But, the meeting room. And I don't really think there is anyone around here, so no need to be too careful. There are people downstairs, though. Yeah, it's nice. yeah. You okay? Here's the drinks. Huh. Alright. Oh! There's actually one more person here. really see them. Is he moving at all? Hold on. Maybe I can grab this bottle here? No, <laughs> but that works. Can I go back down? Yes. Huh. That might be worth checking out. But you're not gonna do it, are you? <laughs> These people talk big, but they never go check anything out. Inch mouth cigarette case. And this was where they were having the meeting. This room? It's not that big of a room. The fifth stricture. Restrict the rampant hunger or the intemperate will rise up among you like a virulent swarm, devouring everything wherever they go, even filth. For what goes into your body poisons you. And if you eat filth, then filth is what you will vomit up. Surely, the glutton will sell away birthright, family, and friends for a morsel of meat. The rampant hunger? Well, people are hungry because everyone's poor, right? Dunwall is not a prosperous place right now. There's like nothing in here. Wow. You know how we've seen a lot of like... rat skewers and stuff? If I take the elixir every day, does that mean that I can freaking start eating rats and I still won't get the plague? Or is the plague something like if we cook the rat meat properly, 
then we can make sure that there is not going to be the plague anymore. For sure? I don't know, man. Seems kind of risky. I wouldn't do it. Okay, Samuel's over there. Can we go check out the kennels before we leave? Yeah. Probably should have gone the other way. But these people don't even notice me anyway. It's really not too much here. I know there's a book here though. Do you think I can get close enough to read that? Oh god, he said something, right? The seven strictures. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you will be safe. The seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseers across the aisles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and beliefs about the cosmos. Number one, wandering gaze. Is that like about lust or something? Number two, lying tongue. Three, restless hands. Four, rowing feet. Five, rampant hunger. 6. Wanton flesh 7. Errant mind All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influences. They are the inroads of the outsider. Oh! I got seen trying to read that book. Oh, whatever. Probably rats into what? Everything. Was it like this when we came here last time? Yeah, Dang it, that guy noticed me. So at the stats in the end, it's probably gonna be like, Hey, one more extra person noticed you. Anything in there? Yeah, okay, forget about them. Let's get going. It might be fun. Not on this level, but in later levels, maybe we'll start putting some restrictions on ourselves on what to do in the levels. Like sure, we're gonna go do non-lethal, but maybe for like one mission we'll be like, oh, no knocking anyone out, or don't use any mana potions, or something like that, I don't know. Whoa! Oh god! He noticed me the moment I came in here. Holy crap. Is that normal? I wonder if their positions are saved whenever we leave the map. Is he standing here looking at the door because I wasn't here last time and then when I left, he was looking at the door? Yeah, because otherwise, that seems pretty unfair that they would notice me the moment I come in here. Because how would you... How would you even avoid that? I don't know. Is that a dog? It's not here. Hey, good thing we came here, huh? A lot of goodies. Loot cash. Oliver. I've taken the loot we've gathered and stashed it in the incinerator room. It's under the dead hound so nobody will dig around and find it. Look to your strictures to figure out the door code. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. I trust you're devout and clever enough to figure it out. Oh, we just read that book. Good thing we read it. Uh, lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. Wait. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to put that one aside for now. Whelp and training hounds. From each litter, there's usually something somewhere shy of four good pups, but we always drown the runt. What? Them that remain spend three or so months suckling from their mothers before we start them up with the training. It's simple at first, returning sticks and sitting still on command, only pissing outside and the like. But by the eighth month, we got them hunting for scented sack dolls hidden in a scrub forest, killing wild pigs on command, and taking a man in padded armor down by hanging onto his forearm. At the end of the first year, we graduate the ones that have learned and shoot the ones that haven't. Oh my god. The overseers take them after that 
and we never see them again. Except once, walking down Clavering Boulevard, an overseer passed me, preaching about the litany on the white cliff and the evils of witchery, and sure enough, his hound started whimpering and wagging its tail. That's how I knew it was one of mine, whelped up from a pup. Why are these people so cruel? Just don't use them for a whatever, but do you have to kill all the dogs? That's horrible. Seventh stricture? Lying tongue? <laughs> Wandering gaze? <laughs> I forgot already. Restrict the errant mind. I think we've, um, read this one? Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first will direct it one way, and the second another, until the body stumbles into a ditch and its neck is broken. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in the mind, or it'll grow weak-willed and subject to any heresy. No, we haven't read this one before. Uh, door code, did it say? How do I read the previous stuff? Incinerator room. Under the dead hounds. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. Lying tongue. Oh, books. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. 217. 217. Help me remember, okay? 217. Wondering. <laughs> that might Ooh! be checking out. That was not the right key. God, I gotta really get rid of my habits here. So how do I get rid of that dog? Can I just shoot them both? Would that be okay? <coughs> Follow your owner. We good here? Wolfhound. Okay, I know there's one in the cage there. Uh... There's multiple. They might get angry if I cross them. Shoot! Heard something. Oh god. That works. There's a lot of things here, I'm so scared. Is that the last guy? If it is, I won't bother with the bodies. Now I'm thinking, where have we seen the other sleep darts? Is it worth going back for them? We saw them in the secret room, didn't we? In the High Overseer's room. Two one seven Hound Cage Release ABC. Hello. They don't really react. Okay. Oh! Did you not notice me before? I was just trying to see if there was any... Like, there were some switches inside the rooms. What do they do? Oh, there's a switch release from inside the cage? That seems pretty dangerous, because what if the dogs accidentally hit it? That switch is not dog-proof. It can just jump on it, and it'll be out. That's just food, right? Yeah, I don't think there's people around here anymore, so I don't have to be too scared. I really should be using the mana a little bit more, because I have so much of it. So much. Oh, 
The incinerator, right? Dead hounds. I really gotta stop doing that. Everywhere. Such corruption. Such hypocrisy. Make me look on it no more. Yeah. It's the same. How often does it change? Opened with a lever elsewhere. That lever? Oh, we can't go in here. Can we? I don't want to go in. The l oh, 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 oh! Is it the case where... Oh my god, okay. Do not use this lever. It is of utmost importance that you do not open this cage without my approval. Voracious is ill and quite temperamental. Should his cage be open, he might attack and endanger anyone patrolling the kennel. Voracious? Houndmaster Wharton. I'm thinking here... Do these correspond to maybe the ones on the other side? That would kind of make sense, right? This is F. Oh god, are you kidding me? What? How do we open this? How do we open this? Can I blink in or- Oh, can I just read that book, please? A boy's gotta learn. To seven strictures. <laughs> seven. Okay, so maybe there's actually not too much in here then, besides money. That guy has money. Yeah, okay. Whatever then. How would you open it though? The lever's gone and, uh. Well, there's another lever inside. We can't blink in. Maybe I'll have a think. Oh! Thank you. Survivor? I don't think so. I just wonder which hound this releases. Is this... Okay. I thought they had it as a security measure, where this lever would open the room that's like opposite to them or something, but no, this is just the way it is. Are you voracious? Okay, we're back here again. Sick hound. Voracious has fallen ill. I have gone to fetch some medicine for the hound, but in the meantime, do not open his cage. He is prone to fits of violence, and this would endanger the other overseers in the building. If we want some dead overseers, this is probably what we would go for. What about the incinerator room? Yeah, keep out sick hound disposal. Two, one, seven. It's just dead hounds, right? Oh god, oh god! Are you gonna... Oh no, you're gonna kill the people, aren't you? Oh, lord. I just don't want you attacking the dead corpses, that's all. Yeah? What? What are you gonna do? You can't do anything. Get out of here. If I had left those rats alone, I wonder if they would have gone all the way to the, um, the unconscious people. Oh, it seemed like they were gonna go get the survivors just now. Which, I mean, they're dead already anyway, so... I guess that would have been okay. I should have just let them go in and lock the door. Do dogs discovering me count as people discovering me? There's like nothing here. Okay. Yeah. Rewire tool, bolts. Sleep darts. 
Oh, I got all the sleep darts back, didn't I? Nine. Yeah, there's not too much going on in here. They were pretty much gonna kill the um, dogs. Well, I think we pretty much looked at most things then. Let's just go to Samuel. He's over there. It's kind of far. Across the square? There's still people here, so I don't really want to go across the square. The seven strictures. Again. Multiple ways for you to find out how to... How to get that code, I guess? The combination? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, instead of going this way... I think it might be a safer option to go this way. We're just trying to get out of here now. We already did our job, so really, no pressure. And I look forward to seeing what the freaking stats are gonna be like at the end. Discovered by 20 people. Hopefully nobody died though. Well, the one guy who got eaten by the rat. <laughs> I'm not sure where Captain Kurnow went to either. He just sort of disappeared. Okay, Samuel. Inch mouth war metal. Oh, this is the yeah. Have I already pickpocketed you? <clears throat> oh! Did a little bit of a jump blink there just now. Is that just an apple? Yeah, no, that's a spring trap. We can't get it anyway. Ignore, if possible. Yeah, we're definitely not here to kill everybody. It's not really part of my job. We didn't even kill the person we came here to kill. <laughs> All we did was brand them a little bit. Hey, if you want to live, you better get out of here. What's that symbol, by the way? Does it mean plague? I see it everywhere. 